Mark TV elevate thank you so much today happens to be such a beautiful day and we have one of our beautiful great and counselors who has been an administrator to immaculate at girls school our dear deputy head teacher and today has been such a marvelous day that we've had a beautiful event sister good morning to you good morning Travis the head girl yeah sister how are you feeling today I'm fine yes uh, so we had an event today an amazing event and um, could you give us a little highlight about it uh, today is Christ the King's Day in the Catholic Church we are celebrating the kingship of God of Christ and above all we are privileged to be blessing our senior six candidates they need God's blessing which will help them through to pass their exams to have courage Yes. yes. Thank you, sister. Um, you have journeyed with these girls from senior one um, to senior six now. So what are some of the basics you best on when you are getting the girls to come from senior one and you are shaping a young girl to become the adult she's going to become and maybe move out to campus? What are some of the morals and ethics that you best on modeling the girl to an amazing girl? Thank you so much, Travis. I'm happy for that question. I teach CRE. At this level, sometimes it is called divinity, but it is principle two, four, five, uh, stroke four, which is paper four. Now, uh, going a bit back, I've been teaching Sierra E, and as you have said, right away from senior one to senior six for many, many years. Now, I want to say that Sierra E, or Christian, religious education is a subject that empowers the children now when it comes to uh, to immaculate the paper i've been teaching in a level which i've already mentioned is called christian approaches to social and ethical issues so which means i have been teaching these students about morals the what the issues we have in the world today contemporary issues you know all of them they contain corruption divorce wealth politics you can mention them i've just picked here and there these issues uh, these students are being taught how to approach them as christians so for that matter the divinity paper four in fact teaches them how they can morally live one of the basics that you have mentioned about immaculate heart is that it bases and she bases on shaping the girls in the path of being good maybe basing on their religion and different uh, religions and specifically moral shaping and uh, can you elaborate about how you shape the girl to bring out that morally upright person that person with um, the right and audacity to do what is right even when she is not being seen thank you Travis as Aria said divinity paper 4 teaches Christian approaches to social and ethical issues I've mentioned some of the issues in the contemporary world so when these students are equipped with those uh, ethics when they move out from the school live alone immaculate in any school but here in particular we emphasize it that when they move out of immaculate and maybe they finish the university first of all at the university they are always cautious that they have to be ethically upright they have to be morally upright in dealing with one another in these social relations then above all they have to keep fearing god because the divinity or sierra e is able to put in this these students the fear of god and for instance when they graduate and move out of the universities and other institutions they are able to work with ethics and then for instance if one is given to be a bank manager she knows how to keep 
the money of the of the of the country or if this person is an administrator she will be guided by those morals on how to deal with the people she manages if this person is given maybe to be a, a politician she's able to change the politics of the world in fact that is one of the key topics that we emphasize many people say that politics is a data game but for a uh, divinity helps these people to know that it's not a data game sister what would you love to give us as your last message so that we can actually maybe move a step or two into the future with your words of wisdom the message i would give you is that as senior sixes move out of immaculate they should remain immaculate they should carry with them those morals the ethics that we teach them and i can conclude by saying with CRE because it's what i was mainly dealing with let them love god let them read the bible because they are taught Old Testament, New Testament, they are taught ethics, as I've said. So they ha let them have those Christian values that we have empowered them with. And by the way, I'm not only talking to those ones who take, are taking Sierra E, because even right away from senior one, they are taught Sierra E generally. And so I may conclude by saying that whatever they have gotten from here, even if they are in the science department, they should do whatever they do with the fear of God. Because the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. And they shall be able to fit perfectly well in the world and they will serve it well for the greater glory of God. Thank you. Thank you so much. I think you have heard from our very own. And today being a dedication day for the senior sixes who have spent six to seven years in their high school and getting education from this magnificent school, Immaculate Heart, have been morally shaped and brought up so that when they go out to the world, they can have an impact on the world. And as you have heard from Sister, dear deputy head teacher, she actually emphasized the use of morality and how Immaculate Heart has instilled all this. So feel free to bring your daughter to Immaculate Heart, an amazing school for an enticing upbringing, both morally, socially, spiritually, economically, and in all sectors of life, so that we can have ladies that can actually give an impact to the world and change our nation for the better. Thank you so much. Immac TV, elevate.